Metamorphosis is an amazing process by which insects mature. Consider, for example, the monarch butterfly. When it hatches from its eggs, it doesn't look like a butterfly at all. Instead, it's a caterpillar. That caterpillar spends most of its time eating. It eats and it grows and eats and it grows until it has stored up so much energy, it's ready for the next step. It finds a suitable place from which to hang, it attaches itself on one end, and then it hardens into a chrysalis. You might have heard this called a cocoon, but that's not really the right word. A cocoon is something the insect makes and covers itself with. Moth caterpillars make cocoons. They weave them out of silk and surround themselves with them. A chrysalis is simply a hardened exterior of the insect itself. That exterior is actually transparent, so as the caterpillar begins to develop into a butterfly, you can actually see those changes taking place inside the chrysalis. When the caterpillar has fully changed, it breaks open the chrysalis and emerges as an adult butterfly. While this is a particularly striking example of metamorphosis, please understand that this is common to all insects. Flies, for example, start out as maggots, which then go through metamorphosis to become adult flies. In addition, other insects go through a metamorphosis that isn't quite as dramatic. For example, this is a juvenile leafhopper. When it goes through metamorphosis, it changes into an adult, but the adult doesn't look nearly as different from the juvenile as it does in the case of the butterfly or the fly. Now in this case, the juvenile leafhopper doesn't produce a cocoon or a chrysalis or anything like that, so this is often called incomplete metamorphosis as compared to complete metamorphosis, which is what happens in the butterfly and fly.